innovation, you know, through the various institutions, be they stock exchanges or otherwise. In India, Kenya, Nigeria, we have seen that the regulator is both performing the developmental aspects of developing the capital markets as well as also performing the, um, the regulatory role. I must say there are challenges that come with that because you're balancing competing interests um, and the regulator um, has to be careful because on one hand you don't want to stifle innovation, uh, you want to ensure that there is an innovative market environment. Um, what we would like to say is that um, sometimes also uh, when you look at uh, some of the countries uh, because of again the aspect of um, of the regulator being seen that um, they might be a bit uh, um, heavy handed sometimes the market also waits until the regulator um, provides that facilitative environment the more sophisticated a market is, of course, the riskier it is. We have seen that with the global crisis that occurred in 2008. Uh, but a clear regulatory framework is essential as it provides transparency. It also provides uh, a mechanism for investors to have confidence that what, what has been set out in the regulatory framework will actually take place. Um, so in one, on one hand, it also provides uh, confidence as well as protection to the investors. So, uh, the mission is really to focus on a sustained and competitive capital markets where investors are able to raise capital um, and provide obviously a, new, um, a right framework for investment opportunities while also fulfilling our core mandate which is really investor protection.